doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to show you how to make patty melts on your Blackstone griddle. Now this is an absolutely super easy uh, recipe and if you got a griddle, I highly recommend it. You can also cook it uh, on a frying pan as well. You need a couple pounds of ground beef, you need some onions, I got a couple different types of cheese, Munster and Swiss, and of course, in order for it to be a patty melt, you need some good quality rye bread. I'm going to make a homemade sauce that we're going to serve on these. They're going to be absolutely delicious. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. Let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make this uh, homemade sauce. Now, you don't have to make this homemade sauce. You can put whatever you want on it, ketchup, mustard, whatever. But this is really easy, and I think it uh, complements the flavors of a patty melt. So I'm starting off with a half a cup of mayonnaise, and then I got a quarter cup of relish and a quarter cup of ketchup. So real easy. We just put this together. I'm doing this first because I want it to sit in the fridge, kind of give it a chance for all those uh, flavors to meld together. So there's the ketchup, we'll add the relish, and then we're just going to give it a really good stir, and we'll let it sit in the refrigerator while we uh, cut up the onions and uh, prepare the beef for the burger patties, and there you go guys. Alright, so, so next thing we're going to do is uh, mix our beef together. So I got two pounds of beef, I have uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder I'm going to sprinkle on top I got two teaspoons of onion powder and then I have one and a half tablespoon of the Worcestershire Worcestershire okay we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on there and then there's really no easy way to do this <laughs> You know, you're going to get your hands messy. You can put gloves on or just uh, wash your hands like I just did and just get in there. And we're just going to kind of try to combine all these uh, dry seasonings, kind of get incorporated in the meat. Now, I got two pounds here, and uh, I'm going to do six third pound patties. So I'm going to divide this meat into six equal portions and then we'll form our patties. Let me keep uh, mixing this up, get everything incorporated really well. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so like I said earlier, I have uh, two pounds of meat. I'm going to make six third pound burgers. So the easiest way to do this is just take the two pounds, divide it into evenly balls, like meatballs here. So each one's around a pound. So I'll take one here and then we're just going to divide these into three, you know, even size balls not too hard to figure out so just let me do that real quick yeah this one looks like it's lacking a little bit over here yeah I decided not to do the smash on these I mean I'm gonna smash them a little bit with the you know with um, the rye bread to get a crisp on them on the end when they're done but I'm not really gonna smash them down like I normally do with the wax paper. I'm going to kind of cook these more like a traditional burger. Okay, so here we are. Now, I'm not going to shape these like a normal hamburger, round, because our uh, rye bread isn't round. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of make it match the size of the rye bread. So I'm going to kind of do them a little bit of an oval shape here. And of course, they don't have to be perfect. And we're just doing this by hand. But they're going to be kind of a little bit longer kind of like that. So I'm just going to make these patties and just kind of make them to match the size of your bread. Obviously if they're a little round they're going to you're going to have a lot of bites without meat and we don't want that in our patty melts. Okay. Just kind of like so. All right, so here we are. I'm going to put them in a pan and put them in the fridge just to firm up for a second cuz I need something to drink. We'll be back in a second, guys. All right, beer review time. Suamis IPA. It's from a company called Pizza Port Brewing Company. They're out of Carlsbad, California. 
There's a guy like, uh, what's he doing? Playing the horn or smoking a pipe? I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, this is an IPA 6.8% alcohol. And this is my daughter, Ava Grace, and my son, Kyle. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Ava Grace is going to have something. I'm sure she's going to like it. This is from uh, Calypso, A Taste of the Islands, man. Paradise Punch Lemonade with real lemon bits. It says shake well. Shake well. <laughs> I'll shake well before I pour it, okay? And then Kyle, I don't I really don't know what this is. This is called Cock and Bowl. It's a ginger beer. It's non-alcoholic, but I guess it's best known for making a Moscow mule. It says you mix this with uh, some vodka, juice of a half a lime, ice cubes, and ice cold cock and bowl ginger beer. And that's why we got vodka for this review. No, no, no vodka no. for Kyle. He's just going to try the ginger beer part. So that's what he's having. It's ginger beer. Ginger beer. All right. I'm not it, sure how. It says taste of the oh, islands. Oh. And it says taste of the islands. And then this one. Taste of the islands. Hey, calm down. Real quick Ava before Grace. I look in this. Can we talk about how the lid says shake that glass? <laughs> this? Yeah, I'm going to shake it real good. Okay, open up the lid, Ava Grace. Okay. I don't know if you need any more sugar. You're acting kind of Smell crazy it's already. See what it well, is. it's a ginger beer. Let's see what color it is. I put some ice because it wasn't in the fridge. So I don't know. What does it look like? What do you think, David Grace? Of this? Yeah. Kind of just looks like water, huh? Kind of looks like... Uh, it looks like ginger ale. Pineapples, I guess? It looks like cream soda. Well, the cream soda looks the same, too. A little yellow. Okay. Now I'm going to pour my beer. It looks, looks like a beer. Okay. It yeah, is a mine beer. looks a little hazy, but it's not a beer. All right, all right, guys, you ready? Everyone, grab their cups. Do a cheers to the to our viewers. Cheers, viewers. cheers to each other. Let's give it a sip and tell them what we think. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Mmm, this is good. It's hoppy, but it's got some really good fruit flavors on the end of it. Mmm. Very pleasant. Okay, Ava Grace, what do you think? It's one of my favorite punch lemonades. Yeah? It, what is it? Lemonade? Paradise Punch Paradise Lemonade. Can you taste the lemons? Yes. And then it's red. Is there some other fruits you can taste in there or just the lemonade? I, I can taste the lemonade. I can taste... I guess a little of orange, I guess. A little of orange? Okay. I don't know. All right. But you like maybe, it. Maybe fruits and punch, which I don't know what fruits are in punch. It just tastes like a, like well, a, fruity, like a fruity punch. It just says like lemon, fruit, fruit, fruit natural lemon. flavors. It tastes like a fruit punch and then like oh. lemonade is added to it. Where is it made? Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, Wisconsin. Show, show, show the camera. Well, they can't see it that so It's made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. And Kyle, how this does yours taste? is one of the weirdest drinks I've had because it tastes like a normal ginger beer, except when you first drink it, it doesn't taste like anything. Really? And then there's an aftertaste, and it just is really, really strong, and it lasts a long time. Oh, it's very gingery. Oh, it's a strong ginger. Well, maybe that, I think it's made more as a mixer for that Moscow mule with the maca, the lime. Some ice cubes, and then, and then I guess, yeah, it'd be like a vodka. Cheers if an empty cup. Okay. The initial taste doesn't taste like anything, but then it has a really strong aftertaste. Yeah, really strong ginger. I said cheers if an empty cup again. All right, guys, I got my beer ready. I'm going to go fire up the Blackstone Griddle. I'll meet you guys outside. We'll get these patty melts going. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers with an empty cup. Cheers. See you guys in a second. With an empty cup. All right, you always want to be prepared when you get stuff on the griddle. So we have uh, two onions that are sliced up, pretty thick pieces. Don't be too concerned with that. We got our burger patties. I got some uh, Swiss cheese and Munster cheese. I got some rye bread. I got some butter. And last but not least, I got some of that sauce that I made that we're going to put on when we assemble these patty melts. And, of course, I got my beer. So I'll meet you guys outside, all right? All right, I've had to heat it up on low. I'm just going to apply some uh, butter on here. Yeah, this definitely needs to be turned up a little bit. And we're going to do the onions first because they're going to take the longest amount. Yeah, let me turn it up to around a medium low. 
and then the far right one I'll keep uh, on low. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get those onions oh, on yeah, there. Let's get those onions on. We'll get those sauteing. They're going to take a few minutes. And then we'll move them over when we're ready to go to the next step. Right, it's been a few minutes. We don't have to cook them to the final uh, phase because they can continue to cook if we move them over. But I definitely want to get a head start on them because they take a little bit longer. Yeah, and try to lay them flat so uh, every piece of onion has an opportunity to touch that hot grill and kind of soften up a little bit. Yeah, not very hard. Just like so. Just let them cook another five, six minutes. We'll be back in a second. All right, so these onions aren't completely done, but they're well on their way. And the burgers are going to take some time because they're a little bit thicker than smash burgers. So I'm just going to move these over here. I turned the far burner on the left side, or on the right side, completely off. But this burner here, the third burner, is still on and will continue to cook them. I think there's a, well, you know what? Probably is enough uh, oil and fat and butter on here. But you know what? A little extra won't hurt, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to lay these uh, patties down. We're going to hit all six up at the same time. There we go. I'm going to turn this up. I had it on low. I'm going to turn it up to like medium just for these burgers here. It's been a couple minutes and this is my philosophy if you've watched any of my Blackstone videos. Rather than crank this thing up, you know, it can cook stuff in a hurry. I just keep it on low, medium low, maybe the very low setting of medium. Just so I have more control, I can take it easy. I can enjoy a beer. I don't have to stress. <laughs> so that's what I'd recommend. It takes a little longer, but you know what? These are coming along good, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to avoid flipping them, you know, a dozen times. I'm just gonna let them go a little bit longer. We'll be back in a second. All right, I just flipped them. We'll give them a few more minutes. These onions uh, looking just about there. Almost time to put the bread on. We'll be back in a second. All right, we're gonna start toasting the bread. I'm gonna move these over. They'll still continue to cook a little bit because we got some time here. But they're just about there. We have a little on the bread there. <laughs> Just kind of dip, whirl it on the griddle, get it warm, just rub a little bit. Sure beats having to pull out a butter knife. And I don't have this super hot because I want, I don't want to burn this bread. All right. We'll be back in a second. I got some Swiss. Got some Munster. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna double up on these because you know what, they're patty melts, right? Gotta go for the gusto. And those three need the Munster. So a slice of Swiss and a slice of uh, Munster. I'll cut that up be a good thing. Alright. These are just a melissi. And they need a few more minutes and I'll apply the sauce. 
we'll get these uh, patty melts assembled. Be back in a second. All right, guys, I got to be honest with you. When I started this, my griddle went off. My propane tank was empty, but I had a spare. I hooked it up. I didn't realize the spare wasn't 100% full, and even though it shows with the gauge is uh, a halfway full, it all the burners, I can't get them up higher than quarter of the way, so uh, I'm stuck here. So the bread uh, hasn't completely browned. <clears throat> Wanted to be honest with you, but you know what? I'm going to show you how to save this. I'm going to take all this inside, get the frying pan really hot. We're going to finish these out off inside, and we're still going to have some delicious patty mounts. And this, I guess this might be a jinx, because this is the last video that we are doing in this house, because we are moving. And, uh, yeah, this is the last video, so maybe we got some jinx with that. But anyway, we're going to make it work. I'll meet you guys inside. All right, here we are improvising. I'm uh, finishing to saute the onions. They're about done. We have uh, the burgers. We're toasting up the bread. We'll be back in a second to assemble these and give them a try. Okay, so I have some uh, toasted rye bread. I'm going to apply some of this uh, homemade sauce. Just kind of, you know, spread it around. You know how that works. Okay, so we have some spread. And now we're just going to lay these uh, burgers on here. Right on top. But not least, we're gonna put some grilled sauteed onions on top. Oh yeah. Look at this. Mm -mm. All right, here we are. I'm just gonna slice into one I love slicing in the toasted rye bread. Just got a great sound. And I love toasted rye bread anyway, but let's see. Oh, listen to that. Oh, let's take a look here, guys. All right, there we go. Look at that. How could you not want something better than that? All right, we'll get the family out here, give this a try. We'll be back in a second. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm here with my family, my wife, Monica, Hi. my daughter, Ava Grace, <laughs> my mom, <laughs> Farmore. It's kind of bittersweet today because it's our last video in this house. Yeah. Because yeah. we're moving to Wisconsin. I'm sure if you've seen, you can look at a couple videos back. We announced it. I did a lot of videos up to this point, but I'm packing everything up after this video. Next videos you'll be seeing will be in Wisconsin, so it's a little bittersweet. But anyway... Here are their patty melts. Let's try it, huh? Oh, and Farmer won't and, be in the videos. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Well, when she comes and visits. Yeah, she's going to come visit. Tell Let's people what Ava Grace is having. Ooh, look so at Ava this. Grace, is. you want to show what you're having? We just cut up some of the the beef from inside of the the melt, and then we put some of the sauce on there so she, she can try it. We just right. mushed it up real good. I hope she'll enjoy it. Okay. Yes. Let's Ready? Let's go, guys. Here. To our last video. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. Oh, man, this is a big bite. <laughs> Cheers to the beers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm, delicious. Oh, it is mm -hmm. good. I like yeah. that sauce, too. And the Even meat. propane couldn't stop you. Yeah, that <laughs> meat is great. I hope you can find meat like that in Wisconsin. Mm, no, I'm sure I will be able to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be even better. Yeah. Mm. Now this part of my dinner, Mom, so can be better mm -hmm. than this, Monica. Are you able to eat it, Avery Grace? Yeah, maybe I can have it for my dinner. All right. Yeah. Awesome. This is really good. It's got a lot of flavor. The onions really add that little extra. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know. A patty mouth's a classic combination. Mm -hmm. The rye bread, the uh, sautéed onions. Yeah, I mean, it's just delicious. Really good. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. If you like it, please hit so the good. like button. <laughs> delicious. I love it. One of my favorite meals. <laughs> I would love it if you would consider subscribing, and I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. The of the meat. <laughs> <laughs> where I have uh, yeah. all my recipes with video links and all the measurements and everything <laughs> else. So please go check it out. Subscribe. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.
Thank you for making it there. Yes, and happy birthday, Farmer. Yeah, and happy birthday to your birthday today. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay. And thanks for watching. You should eat this too. So good.